When Mr. Rogie Boogie says there's trouble close at hand, you'd better pay attention now, cause I'm the boogeyman. And if you wanna shake in, there's something very wrong, cause this may be the last time that you hear the boogie song. Whoa! Y'all ever heard of Bay Base Kids? If y'all ain't, then you ain't missing much. It's a 90s cartoon movie based on the stand-up comedy of Robin Harris, about how he got roped into taking three badass little hood kids to a theme park. The movie isn't good, but it's it's not really painful to sit through. I mean, it, it looks good, but, but let me tell you, it, it ain't no it ain't no proud family, you feel me? It ain't no <laughs> it ain't no fat Albert, you feel me? But anyway, soon a video game was made for the SNES. 1990, the decade that made a video game about literally any movie ever. So you play as either the boy or the girl from the movie as you walk through the theme park. Gotta love how slow these characters walk. At some point, y'all gotta tell yourself, pull up them Jankos. You can punch, but it takes like 50 fucking hits to actually do any damage. And you can also hit with the baseball. Yeah, you don't throw the baseball, you hit with it. Then again, that's actually some smart shit. A baseball hit usually takes off more damage with less, so eh, I guess that's a plus. If I were to make a video game, I would make the main weapon a sock full of oranges. Now as for the levels themselves, I don't think there's that many. I think there's like two bosses in the whole game. After being given a little shit to do all throughout, like smashing glass and going into a haunted house, wait, that ain't even fucking realistic. This ain't a Scooby-Doo game, this is fucking Bay Base Kids. Also, this little meter thing at the top of the screen, it looks like a bong to me. Apparently there's a reason that I reviewed this in October, because SPOOKY HAUNTED HOUSE! Starring the Wayans Brothers. Open the credits. Paranormal activity. We go! <laughs> in credits. <laughs> the second level takes place on a pirate ship, where you can take out these pirates. Uh, yeah, uh, if, if I want to play a game about pirates, uh, I'll, I'll stick to Donkey Kong Country 2, uh, thank you very much. And take out this great big fuck who's, I think, a robot? I, I think? He's the boss. You know, I've seen a lot of shit, but... Seeing little kids fight pirates, damn. Shit that'll turn you white. Now get your not Jack Sparrow ass out of here, you weak ass mother. On to the next level where you go through the same shit until you end up in this back area. You take on a couple of these scientists and shit until you hit the final boss, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And if y'all ain't familiar with the movie, yes, a lot of this shit is actually from the movie. The haunted house, the pirates, the, the, all these scientists and Arnold Schwarzenegger bot over here, that's all from the movie. Meaning this is one of the most honest movie to video game adaptations ever. That is fucking scary. This game fucking sucks. I really don't get why they made this game. I mean, was there really such a high demand for... Bebe's kids? Aside from the gameplay being really repetitive and slow in some cases, the game is just way too short. I mean, there's like two bosses, and a lot of it's just you walking around the theme park, and then they'll occasionally throw some interesting shit like the Haunted House or the Pirates. On the plus side, the graphics ain't that bad, and the game is functional, unlike other broken pieces of shit. Eh, I guess if you're a little kid in the 90s, and the only thing you think is that graphics makes the game, well, eh, I guess you can knock yourself out. Welcome, my kid. <laughs> I was expecting this to look like the Grim Reaper. But I, I just realized the Max looks like fucking Skeletor. <laughs> Beware my words, he man. I will catch you in South Central. Yo, what up, y'all? MC Swigger, uh, re uh, reppin', reppin' the Rucka Rucka Ali merch as always, y'all. I was trying to show off my my Halloween costume a little early. Uh, I was trying to be the Grim Reaper, but uh, I look more like World Star Hip Hop's version of Skeletor. So y'all probably wondering what's uh, old MC Swigger doing on screen? Well, I'm here to reveal I got a new album coming up. It's gonna be dropping in November, like they always do. And uh, the title for it, get ready, drum roll, brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
MC Swigger Goes to Space. Taking all the hottest tracks of 2017 and 2018 from MC Swigger and crew. But we're not done yet. We got a bunch of new classic hits, such as My Name is Ajit Pai. I cross my arms and I start to cry. You know my name is Ajit Pai. Contest fuck me every night. Their semen is in both my eyes. Dance on that pole. I'm emo, la la la. I'm emo. Mom is emo. Dad is emo. Your uncle is emo. Grandpa is emo. Grandma is emo. Just like granddad. Your family is emo. Just like white people. Tucking my polos up inside. Just like white people. White people like white people, yo. Maybe I'll drink in on the chai. My khaki shorts are really high. Just like white people. White people like white people, yo. Baby, I'm Latina Nana. Latina Nana. -na. My family drunk up tequila, la la. And eating chips made from tortilla, yeah, yeah, yeah. Un bereaver burr. Make me wanna rock the USA The things that you say I cat and dog The things that you say Make me throw bitch bit every day The things that you say Ah, uh, I'm Ula Bariba Burr! Houston, we got the munchies. So let's toke where no man has toked before. Hop on board the Starship Enterprise and set phasers to crunk. Prepare for MC Swigga Goes to Space, landing on YouTube this November. Oh, 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 for the longest time. Oh, 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 oh,